They go back to that left-hand side for Kurt and Betty Welsh, try scorer, history maker for the West's Tigers. And a dream return after 16 months of heartache and plenty of time to work on it. Fergo, Bo eats those up for breakfast. She sure does. She loves a little short side opportunity, but... Now to make the tackle an important one on Whitfield. Betty Welsh out of Dummy Half. Togatuki cruises around one, takes off the fullback. Sarah Togatuki with a massive solo effort for the Tigers. Seriously dangerous, but you're right, Rude. Great support play off her fullback. I thought Tafunga had a really good run that set to start them off and got them on the front foot. So they had that momentum, and this is what they can continue to do, the Tigers. They've got momentum. Quite often, they've got their outside backs coming in, starting their set. Then we see Salatoga Tuki. Ruled that it was touched there by the eel, so George plays it. Fresh count. Lutu out the back. Betty Welsh overlap created, and they go back to back. The Tigers. They're in dreamland. Well, was... Out the back to Leanne Tafunga. But just look at the way she moves. She's so well balanced. Well, we've spoken a couple of times in the call about the timing being off on that edge. Lutu once more as the outside players finds Betty Welsh. A little clunky this time, but it might work out. Whitfield said, give it to me. I've found an open passage and it is all West Tigers now. Corners play. I think that's really, it's underutilised and it works so beautifully there because unfortunately Muru just clocked off. So middles, if you identify that the middle defence is clocked off, there's a disconnect between that edge and middle defence and that's exactly what they took advantage of there and it was a last minute. It's, it's early in the count. Look at Lutu move and flicks it out the back. Overlap created and Tafuga says, I'm having a double. And they're having a field day left-hand side. What a difference maker Lasana Lutu is. Has it really opened up the left? Well, look at the taste. They're all coming onto that baller. That's why she's so hard to handle. And that's all started from Lutu. She's a game changer. She's got that ability. Can play multiple positions, but yeah, she's definitely one to watch. Space up the middle here. They've worked it beautifully. And the speech that turns on the Jets. Oh, they won't catch her. Whitfield up the middle. Off the wing. This is definitely what makes footy teams be able to play what pops up in front of you and give yourself opportunities to score points. But Jakaya, she moves so beautifully. She does. She uh, transitioned one of those players from rugby sevens to rugby league. And I think you can see her athleticism in the way that she finished that show. Maybe one more set after this. As they go through the numbers out on the right-hand side, Betty Welsh for Horn changing the angle. Look at Rakia Horn go! Oh, they didn't lay a hand on her! From Whitfield, Bo Betty Welsh was a key here. You have a look at her, she just holds the footy up, takes the line on that little bit more. But a really great identification for space from Rakia Horn. She's got power, she's got speed. Curtin screaming for it. The halfback. Ogatuki receives, and now the seven gets it. They've created the overlap. Kezi Apps turning back the clock. Worrying about what was going to happen out wide. Kezi Apps, Harvey Northern replay, runs onto a lovely short pass there. You can see the Sharks players have gone up past the ball. Catch and pass for Quine. Intercept thrown. Good luck catching Jakaya Whitfield. She is a flyer. Tonagano has to give up the race. Look at Jakaya go from back. No one's going to catch her. I think it was Leanne Tafunga that came up and put that pressure on, on Andy Robinson. And I believe Andy has her time again. She holds on to that.